Hi guys, storm 1 here, hope we are doing well, and for this video I have got some retro game netherbox sets for you. So we've got Pac-Man NBCC 105, which will be this video, NBCC 106, Blinky and Inky, the ghosts in the game, and the Space Invaders, Invaders, from, well obviously from the game. So, uh, yeah, uh, in case you haven't noticed there is a little bit of damaging, but um, it was a uh, a little bit on my fault uh, for not taking the packaging uh, in, um, through the let box, but uh, that's another story for another day. But we are going to be focusing on NBCC 105, Pac-Man and the Cherry. He, now, if you've ever played the Pac-Man game, you'll know what he's all about. If you haven't, what are you, what are you missing, guys? Come on. I mean, this is Pac-Man, the most iconic yellow character. Whatever. I mean, all he does is eat and eat. So let's see how many bags we've got to deal with. Oh, so it's um, three bags worth. That's not bad for 150 pieces, so I'm going to get started on sorting the pieces now. Okay, so I've got all the pieces together, and uh, just a quick note, guys. Oh, if you're having trouble opening up any of these bags whatsoever, always use a pair of scissors to uh, to open them up. But make sure that if you are we one, get the help of a grown up. So uh, let's review the pieces that we are using. We have got two by fours in yellows, two by twos, and two by threes. So those are the big ones. For the thin ones, we've got some one by threes, one by fours. Uh, some 1x2 with the sliding parts right here. Let me see if we can get this into focus. Like so. Yes, yeah, a little bit tricky, I know. Uh, hopefully my... Here we go. Ooh, uh, anyway, hopefully I will show you um, later on in the video. So uh, Some more 1x2s, but with the edge going upwards. There we go. And a 1x2 right here. You know, and as well, we've got some yellow L's. Then we got some reds for the cherries. We've got some uh, two by threes, one by threes, some of the T's and the L's. Now we've got some rounds, which will be for the cherry top. We've got a one by three right here, a one by two, and a one by one. These are the smallest pieces you will ever see. Four millimeters by four millimeters by five millimeters. Could you imagine a piece like that in your fingertips? And anyway, we've also got some bags. We've got some 2x2s two with the slopes on them. Oh, there we go. Let me, there we go. 2x2s two with the slopes on them right here. 1x2 going upwards. And some curved 1x2s. So that's it for the uh, parts assembly. It's now time for me to get started on step 1. Okay, so step 1 is complete. Um, <clears throat> what I did was I started off with the two yellow L's at the back. Then I put one, a 2x4 on each side, then in between that was a 2x3, then finally the 1x2 with the sliding uh, parts going upwards. So that was an easy step one, so now I, in case you don't know, let me zoom in for that for you, there we go. That's what the end result should look like. So try to make sure that when you are doing the 1x2s with the sliding bits uh, going up, that, they, that these two match here. And the one on each side goes on the one, uh, two by four, or at least on uh, one of each side. So uh, I'm going to get started on part two. Okay, so step two is complete. Uh, I started off with the black two by two with the slopes on each one, so that I could get a good foundation for this uh, step. Then I did the yellow one by two with the slopes on it, and next to each one I did a yellow L on. on, on well, to fill up the gap on each side. Then a 1x3 here at the back, followed by a 2x4. Now, I did have a little bit of tr uh, difficulty with this little piece right here, but I did um, resolve it in the end. Then I did a yellow 2x2 on both sides of the last part. So, it looks like we're having a... We don't have any stability issues, which is perfect. So now I'm going to get started on step 3 of the build. Okay, so step three is complete. It was an easy step to uh, do. So what I did was I started off with a, another black two by two with a slope edge. I started right here in the middle. Then I did one on each side, followed by a yellow one by two right there on the end. Then I did the two by two yellows right here. Then a two by four, followed by one by threes here. 
in here and a 1x4 here at the back. So it looks like we are getting uh, through the uh, bottom half of Pac-Man. So now I'm going to move on to step 4. So step 4 was easy again. Uh, from the third step you just had to grab some 2x2s with some slopes, put them here, here, and here. Then a 1x2 yellow slope here and then here. At the back, it was an easy step. Again, some 2x2s right here and here. Then I grabbed some yellow L's and filled up their gaps like so. And then a, another 2x2 two two to help fill, out, uh, fill up the gap. So now I'm going to get to work on step 5 of the build. Okay, so step 5 is now completed. It's really to uh, help build up the foundation for the top part of Pac-Man. So I had to grab a 2x4, put it right in between the, the black slopes, 2x2s right here. Then a uh, 1x3 here, and then here. And finally some 2x3s here and here, so that we've got a good foundation for the um, top side of Pac-Man. Now, step 6, I'm going to do on uh, camera for you, so that I can show you guys... That's what it's really about. So all I have to do is um, turn over Pac-Man, like so, and then put on a 2x2 two two right here at the back, a 2x4, sorry. Then a 1x4, and then some yellow L's. Leave like so. And there we go, we have got uh, the good bottom solid foundation for Pac-Man. Now I'm going to get started on part 7 of the build. Okay, so step 7 is not the most formal of steps uh, on my videos, i got to admit. Uh, I'll uh, explain in a minute. So uh, what I had to do was grab some 2x3 yellows here, then a 1x4, get some else around on both sides right here where my fingers are, then at the front, this is where things get really tricky. I had to grab some 1x2 with the slopes going upwards, um, like this. Uh, better if I showed you one. I'm not like this one, this piece right here. So, I had to grab eight of, uh, eight of them, two yellow and six black, and they are not. Um, for this step, it's not the most formal step, but uh, it would uh, have to do for the time being. So now that step is over, I can now move on to step 8, where hopefully I'll have a better uh, stability for uh, step 7. Okay, so step 8 is now complete. Um, let me just explain what I had to do. So I grabbed a 1x3 right here on the side, then I uh, put it on top of step 7's L and 1x2 slope right here to make it easy. It's a little unstable, but hopefully in the next step or so I'll get it fixed. Then I just went uh, from left to right, uh, right to left, sorry. I did uh, a 2x4 here, then here, then here, then another then another 1x3. And when that was uh, all done, uh, placing them where I had to place them, uh, I got to work by putting on the slopes from the last step. Then I went on to the other slopes for this step. Six more black 1x2s and two yellow 1x2s. Like I said uh, not too long ago, it's a little unstable, um, and I'm hoping that on the next step I can get it stabilized a little better. Okay, so the next step is done, and just as I was hoping, we've got a little bit of stability here. So first off, I did a 2x2 two two right here. Just make sure that there's a nice little gap right around here. Then I put on a yellow L, where it has uh, clipped a bit. A little bit loose, but uh, on this part, but I'm sure that I can stabilize it um, in a minute. Then I went around and put on a 1x3 right here at the back. Then another 1x3. Then I did the L, uh, yellow square right here. Then an L. Then in between both of those was a yellow 2x4 right here. Then at the back was a 1x4. So once that was all done, I then went around to uh, the front again, where I did the yellow 1x2 slopes right here and here. Then four black 1x2 slopes again. So that is now all done. So I'm now going to move on to the next step of the build. Okay, so step 10 is now fully complete. Um, for this step, I had to go from back to front, meaning that I started off with a 2x4 right here in the middle, then a 2x3 on both sides, 
uh, both sides, sorry. Then one by three is here at the front, so that it's uh, nice and and uh, stable, so that whenever it moves around and during the build, and it won't wobble around as much. Then another one by three on both sides. Then right here at the front was a two by four. Then at the front was the yellow slope one by twos. So that step is now over and done with, and it's time for me to move on to step 11 of the build. Okay, so step 11 is completed. Um, so for, it's a complete opposite of uh, step 10. Instead of going back to front, I went front to back. So I started off with the 2x3 right here, then the curved 1x2 blacks on both sides, uh, moving up uh, well a peg. Then I did a 2x4 right here, then... 1x4 yellow on both sides, then another one, uh, 2 by 4 right here. So that was step 11 completed. Now I'm going to do step 12, which is easy. All you need is, uh, sorry, all you need for this step is a 1x2 right here, then a 2, by, uh, two loss of 2x4s. So, according to uh, the instructions, you have to put the 1x2 here, and then place these 2x4s right here, here on the top. So we've now done the top part of Pac-Man and we're ready to attach him to the bottom half. Which is really easy to do. And there we go. Pac-Man is fully built. So now it's time for me to get started on building that cherry. Okay, so step 14 is the beginning of making the red cherries and uh, looking at the instructions it was a bit of a puzzle. So um, uh, it involves some 2 by 3 reds, then some T's and an L. Let me explain in what I did first. So I grabbed this little 2 by 3 red here. Then I slipped in the T so that it could get a good uh, cover on its uh, corner. Then I grabbed another 2 by 3 right here. And then slid in the red L right there. Then I used the triangle, another T right here followed by another 2x3 like this, and then again like this, and then another T. So um, we've got a pretty good start to uh, this step, and I'm looking, uh, and I'm now going to uh, get to work on step 15. Okay, so step 15 is now done, and it was a bit of a doozy, so uh, let me explain uh, what I had to do. So first of all, I had to grab a red T, and then place it on top of the 2x3, uh, right here. Then I grabbed a red two, another red 2x3 and then put it right here on the right gap of that T and then uh, make sure that uh, the other T was underneath it. Then I had to put on an L and have its gap filled up by the 2x3 here. Then another 2x3 right here. Then another L and of course make sure that all the pieces were perfectly aligned. Then another 2x3 here and then here and then finally, the two L's. So now it's time for me to move on to step 16. The cherry is coming a lot, uh, along pretty well. So I started off with another 2x3 right here. Then a little T. Then another 2x3 right here at the back. Then a T right here so that we've got that nice uh, continuous blend. Then another 2x3 right here followed by an L. Another 2x3. Then a T. So well, that is that for step 16, and I'm now going to move on to step 17. Okay, so, <clears throat> step 18 is done. I don't know why I was still recording, but never mind. Uh, anyway, I had to grab the brown 1x2s and then put one right here, another one here. Then a brown 1x1 one one on top, right here, and then right here. Had to be a little bit um, 
methodical about uh, the placement uh, for these. Uh, otherwise, it would just be uh, a bit confusing. But anyway, that is done. Now we're going to move on to step 19, and this is the bit that I like doing, doing it on camera. So the first piece that I put on was a 1x3 brown. Then I would have to put on a 1x1 one one on top of it, and then on top of that, a 1x2. But instead, I'm going to do it like this, and save myself the hassle of finding out, and put it on like this. So we've got the pip on for the cherry done. Now I'm going to do the bottom part of uh, the cherry. So it looks like according to uh, the instructions, one step goes, uh, one piece goes like this, the 2 by 3s sorry, then for the 1 by 3s put it on like so. And that is it. I've now built the cherry and Pac-Man at the same time. And now Pac-Man is ready to uh, gobble up the ghosts and get the fruit at the same time. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, why not check out my latest video right here. If you haven't got anything to watch on the weekend or one of your days off, why not check out my playlist right here. And if you aren't a subscriber to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified on my latest videos. Hope to see you again soon. Happy gaming. See you around.